my grandfather would join her for two weeks, completely off-grid, every summer, pitch his own tent, cook meals, and go on riding adventures with the girls. My mother would brag that he was the only person she ever knew who could prepare flawless pancakes over an open fire. Spring Creek continued to exert a pull on my mother. So August of 1964 found our Craig Hill family pulling up in two laden cars, pitching tents in a freezing rain snow, in the woods, on the side of the hill, at the very same site where she and my grandfather had camped. That excursion cemented the Craig Hill family's relationship with Spring Creek. We, the next year, we built a cabin nearby, and for over 30 summers, until my mother's death, we spent the entire month of August riding horses borrowed from local farmers, cooking over an open fire, and visiting the special places my mother had shared with her my grandfather. And every few years, my dad and I, excuse me, would get up early. My dad would masterfully create a slow burning fire, because we were pretty competitive folks, and we would try to recreate those mythical pancakes. <laughs> Unfortunately, the results were rarely even edible. <laughs> my mother and my grandfather were kindred spirits spending long hours riding in the woods together, walking along stream beds, witnessing the cycles of life and the denizens of the forest. He would often shush his chattering child and impress on her that nature is a place to be observed and respected. He believed that the natural world had a lot to teach us. And for me, that has been the biggest lesson of all handed down from him. That sense of responsibility, stewardship, and accommodation of our environment is reflected in the speech that my grandfather, at age 17, gave at his own high school commencement from Jamestown High School, excerpt on the screen. In this essay, he began by extolling the natural wonders of the area. He then proceeded, in that 17-year-old way, but very eloquently, to scold the local government the industrial manufacturing complex that drove much of the city's success, and basically all of the commercial enterprises in Jamestown for despoiling what he called, quote, the city's most prized possessions. <laughs> 